I'll, I'll go on now about uh, my father. Um, at this time, uh, the plain fields, pavilion and house were being built in Cooksey Lane, King Standing. And I think we moved in there around 1938. Had a very nice house with a long front garden. There was a large pavilion there with two full-size uh, snooker tables. There was men's and ladies' dressing rooms. And there was table tennis, darts, etc. and uh, canteen. Um, the plane, so on the plane fields itself, we had a horse which pulled a large mower. Uh, and in the plane fields itself, we had four soccer pitches, two cricket pitches, two tennis courts, a nine-hole putting green, and swings. Uh, once every year they had a carnival day, there would be a small fair there with the usual things, stores, etc. Um, uh, one thing I always remember, there was a wooden, they always bought this wooden horse with the, the middle part of it used to turn around and the idea was to try and get across to its head and there was always a box, a, bo a block of Cadbury's chocolate in there. Of course it was always there about a week before it started and me and some of my friends would practice on it and we was always able to win a block of chocolate. <coughs> or a pig there we had to guess his weight at the, and at the end of the day you'd get a prize. But the main part of the was day was the procession. We'd start off with marching girls blowing this little instrument that sounded like a pole, paper and comb. Then the local bands. <clears throat> but the main attraction was always horse rim milk carts, coal carts, bread carts, anything that could be pulled by a horse. They were all decorated with flowers and garlands and also on board young ladies. They used to be waving to everybody. I remember one year when my father had to help dig a grave where this guy would be lowered down into the coffin and about four feet of earth piled on top of him. Of course eventually he got out but it was quite exciting for those days. I started working